first. If your attack is bound to a trigger, change it to a button. You can push a button more rapidly and precisely than you can pull a trigger. You really do not want to attribute mistiming of counters to the awkwardness of reacting with a trigger pull. This will cause a problem during the car chase in Chris's campaign that keeps you from going full speed. Change it back to default to pass this section. Oh, it's gone away. I also recommend turning up the brightness. Perhaps turning it up all the way. By default, this game is entirely too dark. In the camera settings, make sure your aiming direction is set to camera, and not to player. Setting this option to player will cripple you extremely hard. First, you will be using the aim command to quickly force your character to face the camera's view, which cannot be done with player direction. If you want the camera to face the character's view, tap the sprint button instead. Second, player view removes your ability to use the camera to align your aim at any given time, and you cannot aim at your attackers while retreating. Worse yet, you cannot use your character to preemptively determine a vertical point of origin. While you're in the camera settings, crank up your field of view to whatever you find most comfortable. This will allow you to see more of the game at all times. Finally, you will want to choose between the classic and the default reticule. Default style will have a steady and perfectly accurate first shot every time, and is very easy to gauge, but it is more susceptible to walk. Classic style has a tighter spread with less walk, but it is more difficult to line up your shots since your aim will waver, and the bullet travels from the gun outward instead of spawning from the center of the screen. Enough about options, let's get into the game. We'll start with a few miscellaneous tips before diving into the more complex mechanics. You will switch and ready weapons much faster while aiming. Switching weapons after firing will cancel all of the end lag on a shot. You can exploit these features by rapidly and repeatedly switching on and off of slow firing weapons to make them much more effective. This can also be done by switching your dominant hand, but it is slow and inaccurate. Switching weapons will summon a menu that prevents you from performing many actions. To clear the screen faster, open and close the item menu. This is especially helpful when trying to execute a weapon-specific stomp attack or counter. After using a health tablet, there is a period in which many of your buttons are locked out. To get past this, simply tap the aim button after pulling your weapon back out. There are a couple of ways to make counters easier. First, lowering your aim will lock out your regular attacks for a second, but context sensitive attacks are still valid. You can exploit this to turn and face your attacker, and hammer on the attack button until the counter comes out. You will have to stand still though. Any movement will cancel the lockout. The other method is to use a partner voice command. Your character's hand gesture will lock out the attack button in the exact same way, yet it allows you to be mobile. The voice commands have cooldowns, so you can't use this quite as often as the first way. The mercenaries replaces your GPS with a taunt. I'm tougher than I look. The taunt will usually fully recover your energy by the time it's done, but if you hold the taunt button while sprinting, you can turn much tighter than usual. This trick does not work in the campaign. When performing a coup de grace in the mercenaries, any kills you get while in the animation, 
including kills from other weapons, will count for 7 seconds. Use incendiaries. Hand grenades. Or Raiders exploding crossbow ammo, to take advantage of this bug. When the game asks you to rotate the left stick, rotate both sticks to get the job done faster. This does not work with the keyboard and mouse. You will refill your magazine before the reload animation actually finishes. There are a number of actions that will cancel the excess animation. But performing any of them too soon will also cancel the actual reload.